12, get my homie through the running, man. No place miss like I'm sunny now. I got my boy Larry Birds in the motherfucking building. Yeah, man. Is it Bird or Birds? Bird, man. B Y R D, man. Why niggas out here calling you Birds? Birds Motherfucking the hood call me birds, so shit, bird, birds, same shit. Yeah. One of the bread blessed teams, what's going on with y'all, man? Man, that shit, man. How you end up getting that nickname or that rap name? Man. Was that, a, was that a nickname before rap or it was like... No, it just, I don't know, it just me and my nigga Coley started rapping and shit, dog. Coley Bryant, Larry Bird, you know what I'm saying, so... You know, Coley Bryant? Real name, Larry, my real name, Larry, too, so... I'm saying it just come from one fuck fuck around the hood, Larry Bird. So, How long you been rapping? Man, since like probably about like since like oh five oh six down there. Oh five oh six. Sometimes right out there, I'm fucking around in the hood. This shit just hood studio and shit. Fuck around making little subs and shit like. Tell that. me how that shit came about. Like where you grew up at? Like um, who man, influenced this shit? Man. You know, I'm on 26 year round, man. You know, a lot of motherfuckers be thinking I'm off the east, bro, because I fuck with a lot of motherfuckers on the east side. But I heard a motherfucker do an interview one time, like, who the best rapper on the east? I heard a motherfucker say Bird and shit, dog. I had to tell him, like, dog, he on brown. Yeah, you ain't even off the east? No, but I, you know, I fuck with the east heavy, though. I'm on 26 in brown, though, man. 27th to 20th, man. I don't get out, dog, from down that way. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody down there. I just kind of like was raised over there. Yeah, I you always been over there. Yeah, I've been over there forever, dog. No oh, bullshit. That's home base, dog. But as far as that rapping shit, though, my nigga Coley and Ronnie Bo and Payday, all of them, they was rapping on like they off they off tenth and ring, and motherfuckers on half ten. Uh, Cheese them was rapping back then, and Hood though, and Captain Stunner. Just listen to all that shit. It's just really you know what I'm saying like. Oh, I could do that shit too. Like, all they doing is put, making shit we do every day sound slick type right. of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, Easy. Easy. That's what kind of influenced you in the hood, like, you know, being around the guys. Oh, yeah, definitely, dog. Just, and you know, I love music too, anyway, though. So, all genres of music, though. You know what I'm saying? So, At what point did you find, did you, you know what I'm saying, discover that you had a true love for music? I always loved music since I was little, but like far as making music, like I we used to ride like me and my nigga Cully and ride all the time where me and Big C would be riding just us just fucking around, get instrumentals, just you know what I'm saying, you know I'm gonna get high they wanna rap. You know what I'm saying? You know, basically the same shit everybody everybody doing they young, just fucking around, but you know niggas start saying like, damn, that shit we fucking around. So, that shit sounds slick, you know what I'm saying? Especially like my nigga C, like Big C ain't started rapping time, just went to jail this last time, but eight, nine, ten years ago, me and C used to ride all day and C just saying that shit. I used to be like, bro, you don't be, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wanna fuck around, but he ended up getting rid of it anyway, so yeah, that's basically how that shit started out, though. Damn, so welcome home. You you just came home. How long? What, what did you go to jail Damn, for? Damn, January 8th, dog. You just came home January 8th? No bullshit. Oh, so it's shit. Been hell of a first year, dog. Right, right, right. No How it feel? Man, it feel good as a bitch, man. Niggas just trying to stay out that motherfucking. Man, do right, dog. In all aspects, dog. With the music, with the. Just all together, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a new year, nigga. First year flew so fast, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I still remember the day I got out, my nigga. You know, I just did a nickel, you know what I'm saying? Five piece. I left at 14, my nigga. I just came back this year, so, you know what I'm saying? What'd you go to jail for if you don't mind me asking? Hair rod case, dog. Back in 2014, I caught a little hair rod case up north. Smacked me on my head, man. I had to go sit it down for a minute, but, you know. Nigga black through blessings, you know what I'm saying? So, shit. Yeah. Man, that shit's part of the game, my nigga. Most you definitely. Get that hit, nigga. Gotta go sit. I, I know when you was, when you was up in there, you wrote you plenty of hits. Is it is that is that is that is, that, is them raps the same versus a, a free mind or like is Bro, you when you get out was you still you was you using them raps? I dropped the whole CD. I dropped straight drop, and I did probably twenty features. Damn there, twenty songs. Besides that, I ain't wrote nothing new yet. 
Like every time I hear a beat, I just go, oh, I got something for this already. You know, I did five, bro. So hearing shit on the radio, and you know, nigga be plugged in there. So nigga have everything nigga have out here. So nigga hearing that same shit. So I'm just writing that shit, but I'm just storing it. So, so every time I hear a beat, like, oh, this song, I got beat. something I to this, this shit. To that beat. Oh, yeah, we gone. Yeah. Like any motherfucker know me in the studio, I be quick. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I already got that shit. You know what I'm saying? I've been tapping and rapping that shit five years straight. So, you know what I'm saying? Nigga be ready to get that shit out. So, I'm saying? But I just really started back writing probably like two, three months ago. You know what I'm saying? Just because I had so much shit. So much shit. shit you know and, and, and it bought. When you was, in, when you was locked up, uh, how, how on average, how many songs did you write a day? Like, just trying to like... It, was, it wasn't like... I have a quota a day, it'd be like some days nigga be like, fuck it, I'm finna get thawed, I knock five of the bitches out. Yeah. I go to the hole for dropping dirty smoking weed for sixty days and come out with twenty of them bitches like yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's just it wasn't just no one day. And I used to like the way I write shit, I just be like, say me and you we we fucking around, we in the gym or something. Me and you just swapping speed. We talking shit back and forth. I say some slick as a bitch, like ooh, but I just write that down with nothing else on it. Type like, shit. It's the line. Then when I get stuck in the verse, I'll be like, ooh, shit. I remember I said that shit that day. I'm finna put that funny ass shit in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit ended up being shit that stick out to motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was feeling that shit up in there. Man, niggas was like, man, you need to go home and just do right, man. Asking you to rap and shit. Only real, I started rapping in jail, because one day, though, me and my nigga London was in jail. RIP my nigga. Dog, he like, I, I'm new to the pod. He been there. I get on this pod and shit. He like, come listen. He playing with me. Like, come listen to this nigga. I'm listening to him. The nigga rapping my shit, though. Like, <laughs> word for word. Like, he, he rapping that shit like. I'm like, on the real, you wrote that shit, you got off with that shit, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. But my nigga, he really mad, like, why is you playing with this nigga, check you about your shit? I'm like, man, he, my nigga, you know acting like saying? Acting like it's his shit. My nigga, no bullshit, bro, he really acting like his shit, though. You know, I took it as a sign of flattery, though, you know what I'm saying? Pressure isn't the best sign of flattery. Nigga like you so much, they gonna want to be like you, so I told him, gee, I'm bird, my nigga. Like, he like, you bug like, for real, G, that's why I see, like. What? Dog? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, he, he was, was sick, huh? He was funny as a bitch, though. Would you say you was pretty popular in high school? I'm bad as a bitch in high school, bro. What popular, school you went to? Bro, I probably, bro, I went to what school did I go to? Bro. Where you finish at? I graduated from Project State at the end, but I only went there for a couple months because I got. That's I alternative school? Yeah, I went to Bedford. I got kicked out that before. I went to judo, judo closed down. I went back to Bears, bro. I got kicked out that motherfucker again. I went to tech for like two days. I smell like weed. I got kicked out that motherfucker. Went to Hamilton. They had a riot. They said I started a riot. I got kicked out of that motherfucker. Then I went to Marshall. You just terrorizing shit. Then I went to Marshall, but I stayed in school. <laughs> this the thing, though, bro. It ain't like I wasn't going. My nigga it was just like, oh. Shit was just unfortunate, though. Type shit. I love this school though. I don't see why niggas don't want to go to school. That's where all the females are. Yeah. I don't know why niggas want to skip school. Shit, school, where's cracking that shit? Right. You asked me. Who was, who was rapping at the time when you was in school? When I was in school, who the fuck was rapping? Probably Bug. <laughs> Eastside L Bug. Probably Bug, you know. But them niggas, like I said, Roddy Boy and Cully, they been rapping way before that. So them niggas been, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas been fucking around with. Yeah. What about Risco? Was he out here? Oh, yeah, Risco. Risco up center. Yeah, we was listening to that shit. Uh, BC, fat ass, used to be making shit when we was in high school, that kind of shit. Yeah, BC was out here going crazy for a minute. Uh, Jack it down. Hell yeah. He was in that area, like the shit like that. Yeah. Where are you graduating? Yeah, my age. Oh, eight. Oh, eight. Yeah. Okay. That's my age. Yeah, that's my age bracket right there. Easy. Oh, I love Yeah, easy, buddy. All them boys on the east side. Hell yeah, dog. It was the time, though. It ain't like that no more. It's fucked up now. What's fucked up about it? Man, they, man it's fucked up. I heard, man, they kicking the shit dead. 
And I ain't no kicking it like that no more, bro. These niggas shit. Wow. Nigga be gone for 20 trying to kick it. These niggas, my nigga, on the real. I got niggas gone who got real 20s for thinking niggas cool to kick it with, my nigga. Is that how you got pinched? It's in a way it was, but in a way it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if anybody tell on you, it's like they ratted on you, so you like, fuck anybody who's snitching. If you ain't snitching, you know what I'm saying, my nigga? Nigga don't understand, bro. Without niggas snitching, them people... A lot of shit would not be, a lot of niggas wouldn't be in jail, my nigga. Like, a big part of their game is niggas snitching, bro. So if that shit get clipped, bro, it'd be, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, it's fucked up out here now, though, dog. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Niggas been on some real brothers only shit lately, my nigga. Like, if you don't know that nigga mama, you should not be riding with that nigga straight. Because right. it's fucked up like that, man. Niggas ain't going to do no time, bro. Like niggas, I, niggas hearing them big ass numbers and what? Them niggas getting scared as a bitch in them rooms, boy. You see all these turning Turn, turn to 6 9 talking? What? How you feel about that situation, that 6 9 situation? Man. That's fucked up, bro. He finna fuck a lot of niggas up forever, my nigga. That shit fire. Even though them niggas, shit, you, you want to be a part of this street shit, my nigga, that shit part of the game, bro. Nigga don't understand, bro. Jail part of the game, my nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't gonna make it out without no scratch, bro. But it's like, when you, you did all that balling, all them good nights, my nigga, you gotta pay for that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta pay your tax, you gotta pay your dues. Sometimes it come in that form, my nigga, like, you gotta go sit down, bro. But you gotta realize, my nigga, like, man, bro, that shit ain't gonna kill you. That shit gonna make you stronger, my nigga. Them people can't take you forever, my nigga. They gotta let you out that bitch. It's about what you do when you get out. But them niggas scared of that shit. A lot of niggas scared because they done did so much gay ass shit on the street. They don't want to see niggas in jail that they probably fucked up already. Or them niggas can't fight because there ain't right. no heats in that motherfucker. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> ain't no pockets in yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker. You got know what I'm saying? But I don't know where it be that bitch. You know, 